Hey guys, Big Dave here at Potsky's Outdoors. I'm going to give you an egg curing on doing a wet cure for some fall Chinook salmon eggs. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, is I'm starting out with a Ziploc here, and I'm gonna take these eggs, and I kinda already pre-did it, but you come through and you wanna break break these skeins open and uh, get them so they're, they're opened up and these flaps are open, but you can do that by just manipulating these skeins. A lot of guys will cut them, but I like to just kinda manipulate them and break those things open, okay? So we're gonna broke open. And the first thing we're gonna do is nectar. Nectar is pure salmon egg juice, and this stuff's been around for a while, and I'm telling you, it's it's one of the favorite things, one of the best things I use for curing eggs. Um, I'm gonna be pretty, I'm gonna pretty much use this whole thing right here. We're gonna go probably about three quarters of that bottle. Okay, so they're saturated in there, okay. Then we're gonna add some fire brine. And this is red fire brine, but something I'm going to do a little bit different here is on my cure, I'm going to use orange. And you'll kind of see, a lot of times I'll change stuff up and I'll, you know, you guys kind of see in the kitchen sink recipe, but a lot of times I like to have different colored eggs, even if they're not a lot different. These are going to come out a little bit more orangish red, a little more cure than that. Oh, I'm probably going to wind up with about, oh, there's... Probably about a half a cup of cure in there, okay? Then we're gonna add some sugar, okay? Salmon like a sweet egg. So oh, we're gonna go probably about, oh, it's probably a quarter cup of sugar in there. And then we're gonna use the krill, the liquid krill here. Um, krill, you know, they eat it in the ocean. This is natural for them. You know, I'm gonna probably run about half that bottle in this. Okay, we're gonna get it all sealed up. Okay, get that bag closed. I'm just gonna mix it around in here. And let all this stuff mix up. Now the nice thing is, I'm just gonna leave these eggs like this. I don't have to flip them or pull them out or do anything. I'm gonna leave them right in this here until I'm ready to fish. So I'll just kind of massage them in. And what I will do when I set these in my fridge, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep mixing them up over a few days. I'll keep mixing them up for over a few days. Um, and, and get that cure to make sure it's all broke up off the bottom. Let them soak in there and you know, after a couple of days, they're ready to fish, but you can leave them in here for, you know, in the fridge, I'll leave these in here sometimes for a month and they're fine. Um, you can also freeze them just like this. But a wet cure, what's gonna happen when you're fishing is all that scent's gonna dump very fast. Um, you'll get, you won't get quite as long um, out of a beta eggs as you would if you were on a dry cure, but with these, if, if you're fishing, you know, where there's other people, um, that's another good thing, because your eggs are gonna dump out fast, big, long scent trail. Um, they're great. These are these are a real good way to catch fish. And you'll kind of see down here, um, this is our finished product right here, okay? You can kind of see the difference between, this is just a red egg, and then here you can kind of see, it's got a little, little tint of orange into it. Um, different colored water, sometimes, you know, the, you know, a straight orange egg can be good. Um, red, red's always a great one, but you want to have different, you want to have different flavors in there and you want to have some different colors if you're able to. A lot of times when I'm fishing, I'll have five or six, uh, different, you know, little, little different flavors, um, to see what they're biting. Um, great way to do it though. All right, guys, for a quick recap here, uh, we started out with about a half gallon of eggs and we used our nectar and our liquid krill for scent. And then we run the fire brine. Uh, the fire brine also really plumps those eggs up. And then our cure today, we're running an orange fire cure. Mix it all up, let it sit for a few days. You'll have a nice wet egg. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, Big Dave, why do you use all these different scents and 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 cures and stuff, mixing them together when you know you can you can easily just cure your eggs just in fire cure, no problem. Um, but I can tell you, you know, if you're fishing around a lot of people and there's a lot of baits in the water, having that edge of multiple eggs and multiple scents and colors. You're, you're just gonna catch more fish. You'll lock into one that they're that they're biting that day, and then that, that that'll, that'll work. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, 
make sure to go to Potski.com. And as a thank you for watching Potski Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.